What's going on, YouTubers? Welcome to another video. So we have breaking news from JND Studios, folks. You guys know I have been advocating that this get made. We are getting, that's right, Eve from Stellar Blade. So they're making a hyper-realistic, from what I've heard, platinum Eve. Now, I don't know if this is the pose base. This just looks like some game art. I really hope this isn't the pose, because if this is, I would not buy that. That looks terrible. Uh, <clears throat> but Eve by J&D, holy Jupiter's cock, folks. Oh, my effing goodness. So I would prefer Prime 1 making this, just because conceptually Prime 1 is far superior, plus it'd be one-fourth. This is going to be one-third scale, no doubt. I highly doubt they're going to do a one-fourth. They don't do one-fourth. They've done one-sixth and one-third. But we're getting a one-third Eve. Oh, my goodness. This game was so incredibly special to me. I fell in love with Eve. She, to me, is like an equal to Tifa Lockhart, which I'm still waiting for a good Tifa. I feel like we have no good Tifas. There is actually some silicone Tifas out there that aren't horrible that actually probably could pair with this. I definitely want to get this as long as the concept in, you know, the costume. I like this costume, and I also like the endgame costume, which let me show you that. So that's a costume right there. It's called the Raven Suit, Raven War in the game. I really like this one. It just looks really cool and futuristic, plus it showcases all her assets in the right way. I also like this costume, the prototype planet driving, just a very sexy, almost like just skin-tight costume. Now, Eve is awesome for many reasons, but her sex appeal is probably one of the biggest reasons, because she is just like the epitome of sexiness in like video games, like her and Tifa. Uh, I think she one-ups Tifa on the butt and possibly the voice. The upper torso is equi equal in my mind. Yeah, and then, of course, this is the original costume, the Planet Diving Suit, which is the game art one. I like this one as well. I think it looks great. I'd be perfectly happy with this. A lot of people are also fans of the skin outfit. You just unequipped, and then you get this, which really showcases all her assets really good. This is okay, you know, but it would not be my preference. I would prefer Planet Diving Suit or, you know, the final one I showed you earlier. So, yeah, really excited, you know, to get this. Someone's showing me this link bust as well. Check this out. By Kintsukuro Creations, Koopa Studios, Life Size Link, Ocarina of Time Bust. This is Kid Link, not Adult. This would pair so good with the Dream Studios link I recently sold. Uh, I like that pose. I like the concept. I think that looks great. So yeah, I'm really excited for this J&D though. So hopefully we can get exciting updates very soon. Because this is definitely highly on my radar. It's definitely been one of the statues I've wanted. I wouldn't mind getting a one third Eve, a one third freaking... Tifa Lockhart, pair those two together, the two sexiest video game women to ever exist. Additionally, folks, just here where right now Prime One Studios is doing a super sale. Uh, so, let's reload their website. Uh, right here, the summer sale up to 60% off, 25% off, Sheffield, two times rewards. This is a decent sale, especially if you've been wanting to buy something and... You know, you've been waiting for a discount. Now, there will be better discounts in December if you wanted to wait basically six more months. You know, but some pieces do have a pretty good sell, like 50% off. Most are like 10 to 20%, I found, like looking at this. You know, like the Harley Quinn, that's like, what, barely $140 off. Tust Alien, you know, you know, save 200 and, you know, $29. Some of these are definitely on better sell. So Jetwing Optimus, my favorite statue, on sale. Also, Godzilla vs. Kong, on sale, one of my favorite statues. Dark Side, one of the best one thirds, on sale. You know, some of these need to be better sell, so like Kong Battle Axe, that's like barely a hundred bucks off. 
This is one I actually do want. Midori Bukugo and Todor Todoroki. Uh, but the sale is just pathetic. It's like not even 200 bucks. And the 25% off shipping still isn't good enough. You know, sometimes they'll do free shipping with up to 60% off. That's the sell to really get stuff. You know, I do want this eventually, uh, as long as I continue my anime line. Uh, but I'm going to wait for that one to be like, you know, I want the DX one. I want this, not $17.99, but like 1200 bucks free shipping. That's when I would pull the trigger on that. Uh, they also have the newer Grimlock on sale. Blackout and Scorponok. This is something I honestly do want. It's just space and money is my issue right now. Uh, but I would love, love, love to have a garage shelf of that. Frankly, I want a Transformer 1 garage shelf where I get Blackout, Scorponok in one shelf, Starscream, and the Police Decepticon. And then Megatron and Optimus. Like, you know, basically all them versus Optimus. I think that'd be so sick. Or just do a full Decepticon and forget Optimus and do another Decepticon there. Also, this V is something I want. I would love to, you know, hypothetically, if I moved my Devil May Cry line to where I have, like, Uncharted and Tomb Raider, I could fit V in that setup. So it could just be all Devil May Cry right there. I did like V in the game. He was fun to play. I liked his character. So I would love to own him. But I, you know, like even this price plus shipping, it still becomes a $1,200 statue. And I'm waiting for this to be like, honestly, 600 bucks free shipping. <laughs> they become 600 bucks free shipping. I would get it. Girl of Rivia, one third. That's on discount. That, that was on discount on Sideshow's website for like forever. Megatron, also one of my absolute favorite statues on sale, 500 bucks off. I know that's been on sale on Sideshow as well. Queen Alien Dial, I freaking love that piece. Optimus, this thing, I mean, I sold that for 1200 bucks once for a buddy of mine. Sentinel Prime had a pretty good sale. So him, 1169 25% off shipping, that's pretty good. Hunter Victims cheaper through Spec Fiction, where I just got it. And cheaper shipping cost. Yeah, Drift 503. That's a good, that's like 60% off. You know, and I sold that piece recently. It's a good piece, but yeah. Blitzwing, Bumblebee, both on sale. They'll be on sale for a long time. William, 50% off, 300 bucks plus shipping. However, shipping on him will be so expensive. His box is ridiculously big. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, these gold transformers. Those are so ridiculous. Like, who would buy those? I don't know who would ever buy a gold transformer. That makes no sense. You're hiding all the detail. Batmobile, Galvatron. Yeah, Kenshiro. Like, who would want this? Like, why would they even make that? Nobody wants that. I do like this Optimus little bus. Like, that is tempting for me. That... Not necessarily Galvatron, but Lockdown. Like a Lockdown bust in Optimus would be a little tempting because I could fit it in my display easily and it'd look good. That's one thing I wouldn't mind getting. But anyways, folks, yeah, I just wanted to share this news with you. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, how many of you would jump on the J&D Eve Stellar Blade? You know, if they do this pose, it's honestly a pass for me. I could not stand that pose. Looking up, you can't even see her face. That's just ridiculous. Ridiculous. It needs to be, I mean, I don't mind if it's a museum pose because then you'll be able to see all her assets best. She needs to hold her sword as well and have a cool looking base. Anyways, folks, that is it. Let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.